Okay, so Pythagorean's theorem is like this. A. How do you do it when there's no paper? And C. How do you do it when there's no paper? So, Why is this a little dot? We have A, B. I'm just going to do them in color so that we can bring it together. But this is what it says A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And you've done squared before? Mm -hmm. So for instance, if I have written the number 5 squared, that means I take 5 times itself 2 times. Mm -hmm. So 5 times 5 mm -hmm. is 25. Does that say 59? So that's the idea. Does that say 59? So, now, A squared, B squared, and C. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So what they're telling you is that this side, if I square it, and I square this side, it's going to be equal to this side. Now what's very important is there's a right angle. This only works with right angle triangles. Where is the right angle here? Bottom corner? C is, if you notice the right angle, it's the opposite side of the right angle. Okay? That's called the hypotenuse. Have you ever learned that before? After? No? What do I do after? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do I do after? So, that's called the hypotenuse. Okay? So, I'm going to quickly draw a couple of these for you. Uh, this guy, and let's say this guy. I'm spin around. I want to make sure you know where the hypotenuse is. Okay. I'm going to find the hypotenuse of these triangles. They're all they're both right angle triangles. Where are the right angles? I'm going to use this. Find out. You just hover above it to move, and then push down when you want to drop. Yeah, there's one. Okay, so where's the hypotenuse going to be then on the triangle? Yep. Excellent, good. So those are the hypotenuse. What's well, important that we have this a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The a and the b aren't very important. What side I put, it doesn't matter. But c always has to be the hypotenuse, okay? So that's going to be our c, and that's going to be our c, side c. It has to be the hypotenuse. It doesn't matter where I put A. I could put A, I can call this A and this B, or I'll wait till that fades away. I could call, and let's say I can call this A and this B, or I could call this B and this A, or this B and this A. It doesn't really matter where those two, but the C is very important. The C has to be the hypotenuse in order for this mm -hmm. formula to work. Okay? So, if we're not our sides. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to do an example of this. So, I wonder if they have any examples for us in your book. Here we go. 8 and 6. So let's take this triangle they've used. So we'll call this our example 1, okay? Example 1. This is 8 centimeters, and this one is 6 centimeters. Now we gotta name this triangle, okay? First of all, the right angle is where? There. Yeah. So where is the hypotenuse gonna be? So I'll do this. Is this the hypotenuse? Mm -hmm. No. How about this? No. How about this? Yes. Yes. All right. So what letter should I call that? C. Yeah. Let's call that C. Okay. What about eight centimeters? What do you want to call that? Eight. Sure. Does it matter? No. no. And what's left then? Mm -hmm. B. Okay. So I'm going to do the rest in black just so we get used to it. Okay, but I color code the letters. So it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So what is the measure of side A? Eight centimeters. That's right, eight centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the letter A with the number eight. And it's going to be eight squared. Plus, what is the measure of side B? 
Six centimeters. Six. So I'm going to replace the B with the number six. So I have B squared. And finally, what's the measure of side C? We don't know. We don't know. So I'm going to leave it. It's going to be C. We're trying to find what C equals. Remember when we did our algebra before? We tried to yeah. find what X is. This time we're trying to find C. Okay. It stands for number. And don't forget we have to have the square. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to get out a calculator here. And then I'm going to have to find out what those are. Okay. So we have our 8 squared plus 6 squared. So what we have to do is we do 8 times what? 6. But if we're, if we're trying to equate 8 squared first. Or oh, 8 times 8. That's right. So let me clear this. 8 times 8 equals, do you know? Oh, 64. There you go. 64. I'm going to do it in black again. Okay. So 8 squared is 64. So I replace that with number 64. The next one I'm doing is 6 squared. So same idea. 6 times 6 is equal to, what is 6 times 6? 36. Good. So we have that is equal to C squared squared. So, we have 64 and 36, okay? So, next step is I'm going to add those two together. I'm still going to try to solve for that side of the triangle. So, 64 plus 36 equals 100. That works out nice. 100 equals C squared. Now, here's the hard part. Because this is C squared, okay, I actually have to get the squared over. So I have to do something called the square root. Have you ever done square root before? Oh, you have. Good. Okay. So in order to make the C by itself, I move the 2. And when the 2 moves over, it turns into this. Square root of 100. Do you know what the square root of 100 is? What times what equals 100? Yeah, that's right. So the square root of 100 is just the number. So what is the hypotenuse of this triangle? How long is it? 10 centimeters. Yeah, so that means from here to here it is 10 centimeters. Does that make sense? Let's do another example. Yeah, so how long is that side there? 3 centimeters. Yep, that one's 3. How long is this side here? Number. No. 12 centimeters. We don't know. We don't know. Good. Okay, how long is this side here? 12 centimeters. Okay. 12 centimeters. Now, what side of the triangle is that? My hypotenuse. That's right. It's opposite of the right. So it's hypotenuse. So what letter do we give it? C. C. What letter do you want to give 3 centimeters? A. Sure. And then what are we missing? A. That's right. So we're missing side A. Yes, sir. Okay, good. So we've named our triangle. And I'll do the formula in black. So it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what's important. We've got to replace our letters. So we have the measurement for b. What's the measurement for b? 3 centimeters. 3. So I'm going to put 3 squared. What is the measurement for a? We don't know. I'm just going to put the letter a. Okay? Don't forget the plus. So we have a squared plus... 3 squared okay. equals, what's our measurement for C? 12 centimeters. 12. 12 squared. Now, so this one's a little different. Normally we're solving on the C side. This time, I have to look for A. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to equate 3 squared and 12 squared. So first of all, what is A squared? Do we know? No. So I can bring it down again. Plus 3 squared. 3 times 3 equals? Mm -hmm. which is equal to 12 times 12. 12 times 12. Yay, yeah. yeah, very good. 144, close. So, I have a squared plus 9 equals 144. But i got to get a by itself. So what do I have to do with 9? Take it out. Yeah, and how do I take it out? How do I move it? Do you remember when we move things to the other side of an equal sign? Mm -hmm. What do we do with them? Yeah. 
this. Yeah, and what does it become on the other side? Minus. That's right. So this side just says a squared, That's and when equal. I move 9 yeah. to the other side, it becomes negative 9. So I get 144. Subtract 9 is what this question now says. Maybe it's 21. 20. There's lots. Okay, so now that we've brought it over here, we subtract them. So I have a squared is equal to 144. Subtract 9. You know what that's going to be? Is it 19? Yeah, 19? There's a couple. Keep reading it. There's some more instructions. 22. Okay. And now, how do I find this? I got to get a by itself. So when I move the 2 over, what does it become on the other side? 10. Close. It becomes the. 10. Oh, squared. Yeah, that's right. When we have that squared, it becomes a square root. So it's a is equal to the square root of 135. So let's put that in our calculator. 135 square root. That's what the square root button is, okay? Ooh, we got a decimal, okay? So a is equal to 111. And we'll round the two decimal places. 6. What's that number? Oh, 6.2. Yeah, 0.2. say that. 11 equals 6.2. So A is 11.62. And what's really important here, I want to show you from both triangles. If you notice, what side is the longest in both triangles? Remember, this one was 10. What side was the longest on both triangles? C. C. What's it called? C. What's the other name we had? Start with an H. Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of the triangle. So if you were to get this number here and it was bigger than the hypotenuse, that means you made a mistake. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, I want you to try some of these questions, okay? okay.